Croydon, with its brutally modern town centre, possibly the last place you'd imagine at the cutting edge of new power. But its less well-known leafy side streets are providing raw material for a new source of energy that's putting the town on the environmental map and kick-starting investment in greener heat. Well, London is one of the greenest cities in Europe and the area that we're driving from now is um, a part of Croydon. Uh, we, we actually maintain um, probably most of the street trees that you'll see on the main roads, um, on the estates, uh, in the parks, and this is the main core of our work. With thousands of trees on his list, Scott needs five crews working six days a week, 12 months a year. Those without a head for heights and a handy way with a chainsaw need not apply. What they're actually doing at the moment, this is just standard pruning for a, a, a normal suburban street. And probably in a day's worth of work for these two guys, they produce about two to two and a half tonnes worth of material. Much of the wood is chipped by the roadside. When the load is full, it's taken for emptying. Usually, this is a one-way ticket to landfill, but no longer, thanks to a new facility, the tree station. 100% of the wood waste that comes into this yard is recycled into commercial wood chip. It's the brainchild of Andrew Tolfs from Bioregional Development Group. We have been seeing all the wood coming into the yard here and thought there must be a use that we can make of this. Uh, we had tried making charcoal with it, but then we came along and thought, let's make some wood chip to fuel local boilers and give us some renewable energy that way. Bioregional have been working with Croydon Council for 10 years. Apart from reinforcing the council's green credentials, the proposed tree station scheme made sound economic sense. We produce, we estimate, about a thousand tonnes of waste a year, which can't be recycled in other ways, i.e. it's very low-grade timber. And with the landfill tax that's, that's, that's come in now, we will be faced with a considerable charge for getting rid of this waste. And of course it's not sustainable as well, so that's the main reason why we, we thought of it on the economic lines of things. Croydon's savings under this scheme are not insignificant. It costs about £50 per tonne to dispose of wood through landfill, while the council only pays £10 per tonne at tree station. Andrew started working with Scott three years ago. Their challenge was to find a way of turning the constant supply of wood cuttings into viable fuel. Biomass boilers work best with evenly sized chips, so they are first screened using this rare machine. Having sorted the ideal grade wood chips, the next problem was working out what to do with the oversized pieces. As the bulk of tree surgeon's waste is too big for a normal chipper to process and expensive to landfill, for the tree station to work, they needed the right technology. After costly trials and error, they finally tracked the perfect chipper down in Germany. The wood chipper itself is an integral part of the operation. Prior to actually these machines being available and coming in from Europe, um, most of the waste that we produce as tree surgeons could not be dealt with. These machines are specifically designed to actually take that larger waste and turn it into a usable product that can be reused for fuel and wood chips. So it's making this site a sustainable site. It is the key element here. The new chipper self-adjusts to cope with any size. And with 10,000 tonnes of ecologically sustainable wood chip being produced by the tree station each year, it's in constant action. Burning that many chips instead of gas would save over 5,000 tonnes in carbon emissions a year. And that's not the only incentive. Everybody wins with wood chip. It saves money for the user because um, our wood chip works out at about 1.5 pence a kilowatt hour when it's delivered and used. Compare that to gas, which is about two and a half pence a kilowatt hour now. So in about three or four years, you pay back any extra cost you have for a biomass boiler and the, and the fuel handling and storage facilities. Until now, Tree Station have relied on one customer, a power station in Slough. But the market's growing rapidly. Not only does wood chip save on fuel, there's a new Greater London Authority requirement for 10% of energy consumed on new building developments to be renewable. There are at least six large developments in the planning stage in Croydon alone, and more across London. With a potential half a million tonnes of waste produced in and around the capital per year, other boroughs are looking at similar sites, which is where an Ashton Award could help. If we win the prize, we will work with the three or four other 
councils who have already approached us saying that they want to do something similar and will replicate what we've done here and help to build a wood chip fuel supply across London.